The purpose of my speech today is to inform you about the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, over the years, there have been a number of speculations about disappearances of ships and airplanes in the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, many people theorize that it's aliens or it's the lost city of Atlantis and sea monsters. Uh, the term for the Bermuda Triangle first started in the 1960s, but its theories date all the way back to Columbus in 19, or 1492. Um, he reported giant balls of fire raining from the sky. Obviously, we don't know if that's true or not because he's dead. So, we just kind of have to go off what people say. Uh, that's not the only occurrence that's happened. Many, like during World War II, uh, many naval officers reported ships just completely disappearing off the face of the earth with no trace whatsoever. What is the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> uh, it is a 500,000 square mile area in the Atlantic Ocean that connects the southern tip of Florida to Cuba, all the way up to the island of Bermuda out in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, many people passing through the Bermuda Triangle have reported compass failure or navigation issues where they just completely lose all sense of direction. They have no clue where they're going, their electronics don't work or anything like that. Um, Although, despite all the exaggerated claims about the Bermuda Triangle, there have only been 50 recorded ship disappearances and 20 airplane disappearances over the last 60 years. Uh, every day, there's hundreds of thousands of flights and boats that pass through the Bermuda Triangle with zero issues whatsoever. So most of it's just these random occurrences that people go off of. But what could be those causes of the disappearances? Well, there's the Gulf Streams, which cause rapid change in weather, you know, Bad storms can cause planes to go down, lightning strikes, strong winds, heavy rain uh, can make it difficult to see and navigate you know, the ocean. Big waves can crash into ships and make them sink and stuff like that. Um, there's also tropical storms. Uh, many hurricanes and tropical storms originate out in the middle of the Atlantic, um, you know, and they can be very sudden, which same reason as the Gulf Streams, you know, lots of rain, stuff like winds and low visibility and things like that. Uh, there's also a lot of tiny little islands out in the Atlantic, which cause shallow areas of water, which makes it difficult for ships to navigate through. You know, shallow water means you could run a land. Uh, uh, considering all of these different variables, um, it's safe to assume that there are no sea monsters, there are no ancient aliens, and it's all just due to terrible